Good morning and welcome to our Advent Reflection. I'm going to read from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, verses 18 to 23. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfil what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. But had no, And they took Mary as his wife, but he had no marital relationships with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus. Thanks be to God for his word. Some people think that Christians are the kind of people that have it all together. That Christians live picture book lives with perfect marriages, beautiful homes, perfect children and amazing social lives. Of course, that's far from the truth. Christianity began with a poor family, a shameful pregnancy, a persecuted people. There were no baby showers, gender reveal cakes or framed scan pictures. Just a terrible domestic mess. For Mary to reveal that she was pregnant before her wedding was a major problem for them all. Joseph, her husband-to-be, was under no illusions. He knew that Mary must have been unfaithful to him. He wanted to avoid exposing her to public disgrace and the death penalty that went with it. But he needed to find a way out of the relationship too. He was bound to Mary in a betrothal and he needed a divorce. This is a strange set of circumstances. This moment had been planned since before the beginning of time and promised for hundreds of years. It was no accident. God always intended that the greatest story ever told, the coming of his one and only son into the world, would involve the domestic mess of a young couple in a desperate situation. Suspicion, adultery, divorce, a death sentence, shame, poverty and exclusion. These harrowing human elements blend into the Christmas story just as God intended from the beginning of time. We should find this very heartening. God uses the most traumatic of circumstances to bring his grace. God does not merely empathise when our lives are less than perfect. He enters in redeems our chaos and mess. The greatest story ever told is not nice and clean and happy, but it shows us that God is big enough to handle the strange mess of our lives every day. So for us to ponder today, what are you going through in your life at this moment? Would you rather that your life was normal What plan does God have for your life and how is he working in it even now? Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for not shunning the mess of the world, the mess of our families and the mess of society when you came to earth at Christmas. Give us the eyes to see where we too can be present in the middle of chaos so that we may reveal your love, grace and redemption to those around us. Amen.